So today, we're gonna talk about talking about stories. Hey, what's up guys, it's Zach, and today what I want to talk to you guys about and what I think is something that a lot of people tend to forget is that when we're telling someone else about this great story idea that we have, it's so important to not get wrapped up in a billion different details because as the listener, you just zone out, you tune out, you fall asleep, you forget what they were talking about five minutes ago, and then that person not only wasted your time, they wasted their own breath. So I want to help you guys today have a succinct and staccato and clear plan on when you do get the chance to tell someone about your story idea, how you're gonna go about doing it. Because there's nothing worse than listening to someone ramble. Number one, start immediately, before you get into any details, identify genre and the format of the story. And what I mean by genre and format is, is it a comedy? Is it a drama? Is it a horror? Is it a thriller? Is it a rom-com? Is it a musical? Is it a Western? Get that out of the way right now. Because if you start with the characters and the, the themes and the plot, I'm not gonna know where to ground your film in my mind. I might start thinking, oh, this is a drama, this is very real and dark and gritty. And if you come in at the very end and say, oh, hey, by the way, this is a comedy, that completely changes my entire outlook and perspective on what you were just telling me about. Secondly, you should immediately identify the format. Is it a feature? Is it a TV pilot? If it is a TV pilot, is it network? Is it cable? Is it streaming? Is it hour long? Is it half hour? Is it an anthology show? Is it serialized? Is it episodic? All of those little details really matter. And if you don't know the difference between serialized and episodic and anthology and all those things, check out the comments below and I'll have all those kind of broken down for you. But it's really important to identify these two things up front to shape the viewing lens of the person that you're telling the story to so they have a better idea of what you're going for. Number two, what you have to recognize is the difference between story and plot. A trap that a lot of people fall into is something like this. Okay, so we have this guy and we start on this guy and we're close up on him in the room and then we wake up and he wakes up. We see him hear something funny on the news report in the morning that makes him think, oh, that's gonna be strange. I'm gonna ignore that and then later it comes back around. Do you know how that always? Yeah, so that's all plot. If the plot is about a guy at in the moment going to work, the story is what he does at that job. Why do we care about him? What's special about him? And what's the journey that he's gonna go on and we're gonna go on with? If you're telling me about your show or your movie idea and you just list off plot points, I, I don't care. I have nothing in which to cling on to. I don't know why I, or care why all this stuff matters. But if you can cut right in to what the story really is, then, oh man, I am hooked. You've pushed aside all the bullshit and you've gotten right to the core root thing that we're gonna then decorate with all the plot points and all the characters and all that stuff. And number three, the third way that's gonna improve your story pitching, your storytelling, telling story skills. Work on your log line. Now the log line is this entire thing, your entire spiel wrapped up into one sentence. Once upon a time, Jack and Jill went up the hill to fetch a pail of water, and then Jack fell down and broke his crown, and finally Jill came tumbling after. That's the, the story. It's about a, two guys, a, or a guy and a girl that go up a hill, and then one falls down and kills himself. Um, very, very simple, very horrifying to tell the children now that I'm thinking about it. For all you guys on Twitter, I think this is a really great way to practice. Go on Twitter and try to condense your entire story idea into the length of a tweet. If you can pull that off, that's about the amount of space efficiency that I think you need to, to deliver your story to someone. If you can't tell your story in a matter of 280 characters and like maybe 15 seconds of verbiage at someone, then you don't really have a grasp on what your story is. Try to just focus on smaller, smaller, more condensed, simpler, keep it simple, stupid, like kiss. And that's all I got for you today. Really, really quick one. Uh, thank you so much for being here. Be sure to like and subscribe and um, you know, let's, let's just talk about more ways that we can help each other make our things because hopefully um, that's why you're coming here. So until next time, friends, keep on doing it live. I will talk to you all real soon.